Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and continue with this area. If Azura then. really was the shepherd, then that makes Altol. Yes, he was likely the seraph who formed a pact with Azura. Just like everyone else has with me. Wait, but then wouldn't Altol have become a Hellion as well, considering that they say that when a seraph when a seraph becomes uh, corrupted by malevolence, he also. <laughs> That, okay, that answers my question. You can't win step over these guys. It'll just teleport you automatically. We've defeated Azura. Much appreciated. Are you who we think you are? It is as you suspect. I am the seraph who guided Azura to the way of the shepherd and used him as a vessel. You stole his sword? I did. This is something special. You can tell with one look. This sword is made from a rare metal called Mithru. It truly does have enough power to cleave the world. Is that why you stole it and hid it? Yes. I was probably the one he wanted to slay most of all. But I had no choice. Huh. He was pure to the core. And it was that shining purity that tore him apart with worry. And eventually, cost him his very soul. That's why you made that sword. To cut down anything that would be corrupted by malevolence. But I have no qualms about giving this sword to you. If you can learn to use it, it might aid you even more than the spiritual powers. I'll pass. I already got a sword anyways. Well said. So you passed the trial of the spirit as well. If you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. We were meant for each other. My blade and I shall cleave the world. Maltran? Saray, look closely. No way! She's... The Hellion! I apologize for ignoring you back then, Seraphim. So you really could see us. What do you intend with the sword? I shall cut down the world, just as Azura wished. But why? I should be asking you. Why don't you understand how Azura felt? Were we to erase this corrupted, chaotic world and all the humans in it, would that not rid us of malevolence once and for all? That is the clean, elegant logic of my master, the Lord of Calamity. You're siding with him? If Alicia knew about this... How sad she'd be. Boo-hoo. You've been using Alicia this whole time. Ironically enough, to start a war, it is most effective to take a starry-eyed pacifist and get them all riled up over something. But now, everything is lined up for an all-out collision between Highland and Rollins. Our sad princess... ...has outlived her usefulness! <laughs> This can't be... Well... Uh, this is a fine pickle, isn't it? For Shepard, I suppose reality is a far crueler trial than anything we could come up with. <sighs> Niklio, Saray seems off lately. I think he's worried about Alicia. I wish it were as simple as telling him to stop. True. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Why does it say there's a save point here? Unless it's taking account the the very top. Yeah, it's probably taking account the very, very top area. Dude, that is, I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense, I'm worried about sense, Alicia dude. too, Saray, but she'll be fine. I agree. In any case, we have the spiritual power. And Maltran is connected to the Lord of Calamity. If we stay focused on our goal, I'm sure we'll find a solution. Right. So the last two trials are Woosh and Badonk. Is that supposed to mean wind and earth? Um, what else would it mean? Right, silly me. <laughs> Anyways, uh... <laughs> it looks to me like, uh... Wind and earth. Where could those two be? I guess I'll speak with, uh, What's-Your-Face. To... Kind of ascertain where I should head next. 
Oh, this is the Galahan ruins. Okay. I was wondering what 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 this what this was. Galahan ruins, right? Okay. Don't need to go back in there ever. Unless there's a specialty monster that I can fight in there. In which case, going in there wouldn't be a bad idea. But for right now, let's find out what Maltron's Maltron. Maltron. I mean, it makes sense. They talked about her like being a demon, being able to like slay what thirty people that surrounded her. It only makes sense that she is fighting. She either is a Hellion or is fighting for the Lord of Calamity. But let's talk about her true identity. How could Maltran do this? There are Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family. It isn't all that strange to imagine Hellions amongst the Knights of Highland as well. A hero in war is a Hellion in life, goes the theory. I guess we have more evidence for that now. But who would agree with the thoughts of the Lord of Calamity? It isn't really as strange as you make it sound. Azura himself was a shepherd, as you know. And he thought the same way. In order to save the people and to begin anew, he would destroy everything. It's a pitfall that can trap all humans who let malevolence get the best of them. Yes. How am I going to break it to Alicia? Does she really need to know? It might be worse for her not to find out at this point. But Maltran said she no longer had any use for Alicia. I suppose we ought to believe her. It wouldn't make sense for her to reveal her true self to us otherwise. Seems to me the biggest issue is she'd been Alicia's rock through all this chaos, right? Good point. If Alicia finds that out, not only has she lost her one pillar of support, but that pillar's been using her the entire time. She could fall apart. That might be exactly what Maltran wants. She's probably thinking she can get the war rolling for good by crushing Alicia's spirit. What should I do? I don't know what to tell you, Saray. Uh, for one reason, I'm heading over here just to see the uh, the whole entire area, see if I can see uh, Norman. The answer to that is a hot no. Secondarily, I want to see if there's any way to like slide down the uh, little waterfall that's over here. If there is, then I can just make my way over to Lady Lake and see if I can speak to Alicia, because that might be an objective, maybe? I, actually, it doesn't look like it is an objective, actually. It's kind of worrisome, a little, which is a little bit worrisome. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I broke that rock. All right. Here you go. Not a lie, that scared me a little bit. But I guess we'll figure it out, won't we? Yeah. Guess that's that for the water trial. Barely. But weren't we just cleaning up the mess that Altul made? You don't have to say it like that. Mebo, just tell us how you feel. Well, I do feel a bit frustrated. Right? I think this is all just supposed to show us the worst case scenario of what a shepherd could potentially become. I thought so too. So then, what were you going to do if Azura really didn't become a Hellion? In that case, we probably would have been challenged by another Hellion. Do you mean there are more shepherds who became Hellions? In the long lines of history, many have. I see. So that's why the trial is a test of one spirit as well. Yes. If that's the case, then I'm convinced. You okay with that, Edna? I'm fine, as long as it's a fair trial. No fair. <laughs> You're definitely spirited, Edna. All right, we're just gonna quickly get that uh, get that out of the way. That way, I can just go ahead and do something with that later. Ooh, what's this? A ghost in the ruined village of Kyle Fay. That's the rumor going around among the merchants. As I recall, though, the village northeast of here was wiped out by a gang of bandits several years ago. Bandits, at least, you can do something about ghosts. That's a whole nother story. Ghost. Could it be a seraph? It does make you wonder. Perhaps the one who witnessed it had high resonance. Maybe. Dude, it's Maven. Oh, there's Saray. I've come across an interesting tidbit. A ways into Lake La Lake Haven Heights, there's a ruin of a shrine. People used to come from far and wide to pray there, but now it lies abandoned, shot out in constant thunderclouds. Doesn't it set your explorer blood, explorer, explorer blood afire? Is what I meant to say. You give up! 
We caught you red-handed. Darn! That voice. It's a Hellion! Purify him. Yeah. You need something, oh great shepherd? Is it all right if I deal with this boy? I'm afraid not. The only way to apprehend pickpockets is to catch them in the act. But... but he's... If you do the crime, you do the time. No matter how old you are. This kid just wasn't ready for real-world consequences. <clears throat> hey, mister! Why don't you let Saray have a talk with him before you take him away? Just a word from the shepherd might steer the kid toward the right path in life, better than any time in detention. That would be pointless. Come on, it won't do any harm. What, you got some problem with Saray talking to this boy? I never said that. It would simply be a waste of time. You said this kid wasn't prepared to deal with the real-world consequences of his crimes. Are you prepared, mister? What? I'm part of a merchant crew that travels all over the world. You think I don't know why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? <laughs> I see. How much do you want? Don't put me on your level. We Sparrow Feathers value our customers' trust. Saray, we're taking this guy to jail, too. L like hell you are, you lying brat! You will not lay a finger on her. Shepard! Oh, hey, stop! Wait! Saray! Go after him. Okay. If it ain't one thing. Saray, I'll go after them as well. Please purify that boy. Shepard or not, I won't let you obstruct my duties. <sighs> Guard, leave him alone. Even we can tell something about you stinks. Yeah, what kind of guard are you? You think we don't know what you're up to when our backs are turned? You dirty crook. I think we're good here. Let's go after Rose. Yeah, you're right. We're heading after Rose, right? I guess we are, Mikleo. I, I don't know what he wants to tell him. Like, yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? I didn't expect to come across a cutscene here. That was a little bit weird. It was, it was very unexpected at, at the very least. Unfortunately, there looks to be an Irish Gen episode over here. Phew. You made it. Is it over? Maybe. If it really bugs you that much, why don't you check up on him? Well, how would we do that? Let him lead us home. Oh, so he wanders and we tail him. That could work. All right then. Saray, Rose, you guys hide. I'll go wake him up. Looks like they've made their decision. Are you okay with this, Lila? Well, as long as we only follow him. Don't you think he'll stop pickpocketing now? We purified him after all. Mm, not so sure about that. I've heard word of pickpocket gangs. Oh, really? We need to find out whether he was doing it on his own or with a group. What I want to know is why this suddenly turned into Assassin's Creed. Like Assassin's Creed follow mission, just like... Follow up behind the guy and hide behind every little pillar that you possibly can. I wonder if I'll fi if I'd fail the mission if I ran in front of him. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it, but I wonder. It. Got goofy glasses. What did you mean by you knew why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? The enforcers let him off a lot of the time in exchange for part of the takings. Then, 
When the guards need to hit their quotas, they round them up anyway. That's probably what that was about. No way. I mean, what are you gonna say? There are dirty people in positions of power. That's just how things go. The council, the knights. What do you even call that guy a knight? I guess he does count as a knight. To be fair, in Vesperia, the knights were corrupt too. So, I mean... I mean, spoiler alert, I guess, for that game. Kind of. Maybe. Not really. Look, he's going in. A noble's manor. It's clearly not his house. I'm guessing a pickpocket gang, then. And so this must be their base. Something tells me he's not gonna quit stealing. Well, crap. Come on, we're not done yet. Rose, it's unfortunate, but I'm not sure we should... Lila means that this is just a problem of human society. Right. It might not be something a shepherd should get involved in. Huh. <sighs> Sorry. If he's doing it by himself, I'd be okay letting him deal with the consequences. But if there's a gang forcing him to steal, it's a completely different story. I gotta check to make sure. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. Let's go check it out just in case. You sure? But no more than that. Understood? Saray, Rose, even if you don't intend them to, the powers of the Shepherd and the Squire can greatly influence human society and the spirits of men. Please don't forget that. All right. We'll just watch and see who goes in and out. Bored. Who knew that we wouldn't see anything for days on end? You all can go back to the inn. I'm staying here. It's okay. Shh. Someone's coming out. It's a bunch of little kids. Those kids? You think maybe they're not being forced to pickpocket? <sighs> We've come this far. Let's see this thing through. Dezel? You go follow those brats. I'll go check out the building. Thanks. Oh boy. Don't go for anything big, got it? Only money and jewelry and stuff. Are they gonna have anything like that? That shepherd guy did something, and now there's lots more people donating stuff to the sanctuary. Oh cool, that sounds fun. Priests won't be mean to kids, and if there's any real problems, we can always start crying. <laughs> I'm good at that. Hey, is this really okay? It's okay if you're us and not them. Is this what kids are like these days? Dangerous times. <sighs> Those kids barely have any malevolence at all. Children and their brutal honesty can be even crueler than corrupted adults. As you've seen. <sighs> got goofy glasses and I got a title level up? This is really weird. Why am I getting goofy glasses? Also, the, the main, I guess the leader of that group of kids... Um, he sounds like Phil and Lil from Rugrats, I think. Hey. Oh, Dezel. How was it? The building was completely empty. Those scamps are probably just camping out there. So then, those kids are acting on their own. That doesn't make sense, though. Not, not them acting on their own. It doesn't make sense. If, if we were kept out there for days, we should have... We would definitely have seen them. There definitely was... Wouldn't be a chance of us not seeing them, considering they'd have to leave the house to m get food eventually. Unless you're telling me those kids purchased stuff in bulk. All right, it's snatching time. <sighs> now that we know the score, do we want to report them to the guards and end this whole thing? After all, they're not Hellions. Ah, uh, now nah. we'll take care of it on our own. No. We have to say something. You're right. Hey, you all! Stop with your thieving! <laughs> Darn it! What do you want? Look, I never did nothing! We know all about what you're up to. Fooling the priests into thinking you're helpless orphans and then robbing them blind. 
You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, yeah? You got any proof? This here is the shepherd. His word is good enough. Th that's perjury! False witness! Princess Alicia and the people of Lady Lake all trust Saray. Because he's been living an honest life. How about you? Will anyone trust your word? <sighs> Give it up, kid. What else can we do? The adults all abandoned us. If we want to survive, stealing's our only choice. Rose, maybe we ought to... Come on, Saray. Let's bring them to the guards. But to think children their age could conceive of such wretched duplicity. And the other children? They were all caught by the guards and hauled away. I see. Those who commit crimes must be punished. Even if they are children, it's the way the world works. But it still pains the heart. Yeah. Hmm. That was an Irish gem episode. Will the Irish gem be- Oh, dude, it's right here! Wait, what? Why couldn't I just go in here and take it? Hey, isn't this an Earthen Historia? Oh, that... That was a donation from someone in the city. It looks rather rare and precious, so we've been unsure whether we should sell it. Nice! Good call, Mr. Priestman! Huh? Oh, uh, thank you. Father Brunor, we're actually collecting these. You think we could have this? We'd pay for it, of course. No, 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 please, that's not necessary. If it's something the shepherd needs on his quest, by all means, please take it. I'm sure the donor would be overjoyed to know that their gift had been some help to the shepherd. Thank you, Father Brunor. Purple Irish Gem Ek. Many shepherds gather at the shrine of Mount Talus. They celebrate a new shepherd. Was that a marriage ceremony? And there were a whole bunch of shepherds there, too! It looked like it took place at the Shrine Church in Pendrago. And that was Maltellus's crest. Was his Prime Lord Maltellus? Uh, please excuse me for a moment. Uh-oh, she took off. Almost like you were picking on her. We didn't mean for her to leave. I know. Well, judging from circumstantial evidence, I'd say there's a major chance that Maltellus is mixed up in this somehow. Yeah. For that many shepherds to exist at once, you'd need a power on par with the five lords. Yeah, but let's leave the speculation at that for now. So long as we're gabbing about it, Lila's stuck in there. Oops, sorry, I forgot. She was stuck in where? What was, what was, what were they talking about? She's stuck in there. What does that mean? <laughs> she wasn't stuck in anywhere. I guess we'll just put flame here. I don't know, dude. Actually, we're not even going to do anything in this area, so let's just put Animali and then put flame somewhere else because status ailment seems to be the way to go in this game. All right, so that was an Irish gem episode, I guess. I don't know if we need those for any reason, but if we do, we have another one. Anyways, uh, I guess now let's go and see if we can Thanks, spot everyone. Alicia. I needed that. You're okay with how it worked out? It's better than ignoring it and spending the rest of your life wondering. Yeah. Yeah, but let's go see if we can find Alicia, and if not, I'll meet you at our next destination. But it looks to me like there is a little talking bubble over here, so we won't have to go anywhere. Since Alicia's probably here, and we need to let her know that Maltran wants to put her into the ground. Highland is moving closer to war day by day. No one will listen to me, no matter what I do. Because you've been digging a hole, girl. You're stubborn as a mule, but even so. I won't give up. 
The strength of the night exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. <laughs> you never change. Saray, how are the ruins in Lake Haven Heights? Well, you know, I did obtain the spiritual powers. Wonderful. Though it's a shame, you just missed meeting my master. Alicia, I needed to tell you about... Maltran taught me the way of the spear at a young age. When I train with my master, I feel so invigorated. I don't enjoy all the scratches I get, but it's only because I lack experience. What kind of person is she? Well, she's kind of like... Like a mother to me, but she doesn't like me saying that, says she's too young. But she taught me martial arts and the way of the knighthood when my mother died. I was only seven. I owe her much. Elise. So, I fear I rely on her a bit too much. That's not true. I'll try to convince the chancellors. I do everything I can. Are you sure you don't want to tell Alicia the truth about me? Well, at least you have a sparkling personality. You really are a pillar of support for her, you know? That's it? You decided not to tell her just because of that? You're weak, as both a knight and a shepherd. She's of no use to you now, right? Why don't you just leave her alone? I'm interested, that's all. ...of what will become of the foolish princess, who would needlessly turn herself into a martyr for her country. I know Alicia will see it through. <laughs> do you really think so? I... You really don't, do you? After all, you don't even think she has the strength to withstand the truth about me. <sighs> Shut up! As long as we take care of it before she knows, everything will be just fine! No need to rush. The tables will turn soon enough. All is according to his plan. Wow, dude, that's, uh... That is something else. But, uh, that's... I guess that's it for this area. Are we not able to tell Alicia the truth about Maltran? Because we can't actually believe in Alicia, even when we really want to? Uh, she's just trying to provoke you. <laughs> Let's keep it a secret. Are you sure? Yeah, I agree. It appears harming Alicia is not part of her grand plan anyways. Then I have no objections. Rose, you agree too, right? You sure told her off. <laughs> Saray looked like he was done with her, so I just took it from there after she started talking smack. <laughs> to be honest, I'm scared to tell Alicia the truth about her master. Alicia really trusts Maltran, more than any one of us can imagine. Do whatever you want. But if you do face off with her, don't hold back. Otherwise, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Don't get so serious. It'll be fine. Come on, stay psyched up. Right. <laughs> Good talk. Alright, we've made it to the ruined village. There's supposed to be an Irish Gym episode in here, which means over here is definitely where the Irish Gym episode happens, isn't it? We can't hold, hold back. May you not win. You. No. What? what are they? Phantom Hellions, ones who are trapped by malevolence even in Don't death. Stay. It's over. I'm not done yet. Ha. Be gone. Try this on. Ready? Three thousand HP is a lot. How's this? All right, I'm gonna try to practice some combos. Meaning, I'm not gonna try to do a full, like the full combo with Saray, just because it seems to me like it does way too much. 
Like it does way too much in terms of uh, getting me uh, killed if I do the full combo. Whereas if I don't do the full combo, I can I can finish off with like a sweet art like Shadow Shock, for example. Although I wish they wouldn't get like the, such an easy chance to like get off all their skills. That was radiant, Edna. Suppose I could learn from your level of reserve. I didn't get a bad grade. Lila, what did you mean they were trapped by malevolence even in death? Humans and seraphim, in fact, all living species, have something within their bodies called a soul. A phantom is the hellion which results when that soul itself is corrupted by malevolence. Then does that mean, even if we purify them, they won't go back to their human form? Yes, they are already dead. Hmm. But if we don't purify them, their souls will retain their malevolence, drifting around aimlessly for all eternity. As Hellions who continue to prey on humans, you mean. So purification is still a way to save them, right? It is. Okay. I know what I must do. That's actually really sad. But I have no idea what to do in this, in this uh, area now. Well, actually, I probably have to head back to uh, back to Lady Lake, and there's probably something that I can do there now that I've gotten that whole thing out of the way. All right, I guess we're teleporting to the children, Dazzle. <laughs> Bunch of hopeless delinquents, those street kids in Lady Lake. Well, if society's abandoned them, I don't know. Is there any other way for them to survive besides a life of crime? It is a sad era we live in. Give me a break. If you have to do wrong to trudge onward, you do so knowing the burden of that wrong. You hide that dark shadow within yourself and keep pressing on. Those kids weren't like that. They just went astray. Hey, don't look at me when you say that. Rose, so those are the things you have to think about, huh? I don't think, I just do. Uh, let's stop talking about this. You mean you're just spontaneous? That's... awesome. Yes. No matter the circumstances, it's up to each person to decide how she wants to live her life and for what she must be held accountable. But Rose understands that instinctively, without thinking. Very impressive. Seriously, can we change the subject? Maybe the experience of abandonment will get those kids to realize the importance of responsibility. Thanks to you guys pointing them in the right direction. I hope so. Yeah. If it were that easy, the Age of Chaos would be over already. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and uh, travel. We gotta head back to... Uh, Perlot's Platcher... Perlot's Platcher... Perlot's Plaster... Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Perlo's Pasture. Uh, the entrance of the Gefaris Ruins. Actually, the Pendrago entrance is probably the closest to getting us where we need to be. Alright. We're at the Pendrago entrance. Let's go ahead and head towards... Uh, I believe the field we have to go to is the bottom left. I mean, we're going to take it We're gonna take it as we go. We're going to go in a straight line over there as quickly as we possibly can. Realistically, I don't even know if Miklo can create elixirs via remedy preparation. If he can't, be super sad, just because uh, I'm kind of banking on the remedy on the uh, remedy preparation to create elixirs, seeing as elixirs are so good, are so good for like for boss battles. Three battle gauge in each boss battle is nothing to sneeze at, considering we can get our damage multiplier up to 1.75 fairly easily. And once we do that, we can do upwards of 3,000 damage with our Mystic Art, provided that we're, we are strong enough. And whether or not we are, I'll never know. However, is that... Is that a... No, that can't be. No, no, that... No, definitely not. It, no, there's, there's one over there. Okay. I was wondering if that was an enemy that, uh... 
one of those specialty enemies that you can beat for a blessing orb. Or is it, are they called blessing orbs? Orbs of blessing? Nah, they're probably called blessing orbs. Here it is, blocking our path. Just go invisible really quickly. Hopefully that gets them out of our way. Hello, sir, please, just let me break you apart. Uh, let's just break two of them apart, just in case. We come through here again and we need a tiny bit of space. Bottle. Looks to me like there's a point of interest over here. Is that a monolith? Elements and statuses. When you trigger stat up and stat down effects multiple times, the effects won't completely compound on each other, but they will be enhanced. Use all sorts of arts and combinations to trigger new effects and to give you the strength you need to take on the toughest of foes. I do wonder where the other Irish Gym episodes are. Considering it tells us the story of the game, I wonder that if I'll ever, if I'll ever, if I'll have to go through the game and collect all the Earth and Historia so that I can actually get the, the ending that I need to get to beat the game. As if that makes sense at all, probably not. But uh, getting lots of gold from these chests has been a real godsend, dude. Like I'm at 50,000 gold. Even though it doesn't seem to be too much, it also doesn't, it also isn't, is nothing to scoff at. God, I hope this is the location that we want to go to. God, I hope this bird stops chasing me eventually. Now it looks like we're going to definitely get into a battle here. Especially if I can't walk in a straight line properly. Okay, now it looks like we reached, we just barely reached the ending of his, uh, of the field that he's allowed to traverse. Alright. Let's go! I freed hunting ground. Okay. So it looks to me like we might have to head through this entire area. Alright, it looks like we're gonna have to fight this Can guy first. I made this for you. Untamed vicious boars become hellions like this. Watch out! It's charge attack will bore you to death. You'd been waiting to say that. <laughs> I really hate I really hate Lila sometimes, dude. Severing wind, okay. So I do have a skill that allows me to do a ton of damage to them. Saray, is your sword style self-taught? Yep. Your grip, swing, and focus need work. But otherwise it's okay. Is that a compliment? Of course not. No, it is. <laughs> That's adorable. Hey, what's up, Jade? How you doing? How are you doing on this fine a Sunday night, almost Monday morning? Let's go ahead and save here. And be back in a flash. <laughs> 